Well, what is up guys, Serenity Service on that here, and today I will go over creating a dark RP uh, job. I will also go over creating a category, and I will also go over creating a donator job, uh, which seem to be uh, the most requested ones, uh, so I'm going to do that now. So, um, the first thing you want to do is, of course, have a dark RP server. Now, when you get a server, you want to uh, always connect using FTP. Generally, it's faster and... Uh, more reliable and you don't have to uh, keep um, keep logging into your control panel to use this so I'm gonna log into my FTP uh, I'm just gonna type in the host name of my server that I was giving by my host and into the username I'm gonna type in the username that I use for TZ admin and the password is also the same as on TZ admin Alright, a little spelling mistake there. So I'm now connected using FTP. I'm going to open up here and then I'm going to go locate my add ons folder. Now, if you don't have this folder in here, it's important that you uh, follow my guide on installing DarkRP. Uh, it goes over how to uh, install this uh, because if you start doing what I'm about to do in the um, game mode files, you may end up messing up the game mode and it will be overwritten doing updates and stuff like that. So it's generally just a good idea to, um, to do it in here. So Docker P modification uh, under Lua, <coughs> go into custom uh, Docker P custom things and um, and uh, the first thing we um, we want to do is create a category because if you start using category in a job that does not exist, you're gonna have some problems. So um, I have a text editor here, uh, Notepad plus plus. For those of you who don't know what that is, you can go download that. Um, so I have a template for creating a category. There's also a template up here, but I'm just going to use this one. I don't like the comments. Uh, the name is going to be uh, admin jobs. And the categories is going to be jobs. You can view the different categories up here. Uh, basically, this one corresponds with the amount of tabs that are on your F4 menu. Uh, the weapons, all that good stuff. And the star expander should be true. Um, this means that if players have to click the category in order to show the jobs in it, basically. Uh, the color, self-explanatory. The, um, the color that the job is in the scoreboard. Uh, I want this to be red because admins are always red, uh, apparently. So <laughs> um, Now, the can see is, uh, is important here. Um, because if you uh, set this to as it is right here, um, this basically means that whether or not um, users are able to see this. Um, uh, so like it, right now, everyone would be able to see the admin jobs category. Now, I wouldn't want that because uh, there's no need for them to see this basically. So what you do is you, um, you edit this a little bit. Now, uh, what I'm gonna ask here is, um, like, it, it returns a true. So I want something that is either true or false. If I set this to false, it will always be false. Um, but if I add a little check here, saying that um, if the player is admin, it's basically gonna re return a true, as in the player is admin, and then show the category. Uh, that's how that works. So um, this is the for admins. Um, at least uh, so uh, the sort order is from uh, lowest to highest so um, the lower the number the higher up the list it will be uh, the default one is 100 meaning that the citizens have a sort order of 100 but I want this admin category to be at the top so I'm gonna give this a sort order of 99 now uh, we're also gonna be, cre uh, be creating a donator job so I'm gonna just quickly create a uh, donator um, category here um, again just following uh, the steps up here calling this a donator and I'm gonna make um, uh, the, the color here uh, blue I think so um, again it's red green and blue so I want this to be blue and that is pretty much it I want the sort order again to be um, I'm just going to leave it at the default uh, because I want uh, the donator jobs to be at the top. Now, if you only wanted um, 
users that are actually donator to be able to see this. Um, I don't because I want users to see what they're missing, uh, basically. Uh, but you could add a custom check saying that if there aren't donator um, like this one, if you add this one in here, uh, only the, rank, the the users with the rank donator or admins can see this uh, menu. But I want everyone to be able to see this. And I'm not going to save this, either clicking up here or click Control S. I'm going to save it. All right, so after categories are um, on the server, it's time to create some jobs. And I want to right click and edit um, the jobs here. Now I also have a template for creating a job. So the first thing we're going to do is create the admin on duty job. I'm going to call the team AOD. Now the team is very important because if you have, if you make it lowercase, um, it won't work. Uh, so always uppercase and you cannot have duplicate team names so you can only have one AOD name um, you know you can, like create uh, multiple like AOD uh, two or whatever but the team name must be unique so I'm gonna call this the, this is what the, the name is called in the scoreboard and in the F4 menu so I'm gonna call this admin on duty and again admins are always red so I'm gonna make this uh, the color uh, in the scoreboard red. Now the model here, um, this is where most people um, fall off. So I'm gonna show you how to find and use a model. Basically up here we have the default characters um, from Half-Life. Now um, a lot of people want to use um, their own model and that's fine. So uh, if you add a, a collection to your server that has some model packs in it, you can click this little plus sign here and expand it and then scroll down until you find the add-on with the model in it and in this case I have a model pack from a Gmod tower and I want the admins to um, to be a guy in a suit so I found this one here I'm gonna sp always spawn it first because sometimes uh, the model might be broken and it won't even spawn or sometimes it, um, it messes up um, like I had, there's a few models on here, it doesn't actually work. So it's always good to do to try and spawn it first. When you find the one you want to use, uh, you want to right click it, copy the clipboard. Um, this is going to copy over the relative path of, uh, of the model, basically. So you can just replace this whole thing here. That's pretty much it. And I'm just going to do a brief description of this job, what it does, and etc. Uh, the weapons here also a very big part of uh, dark rp uh, so if you want to find out uh, what weapons uh, these jobs uh, should spawn with go on your weapons tab and then um, find what uh, weapon you want them to spawn with uh, in this case i would like that they spawn with a rocket launcher um, let's do this one so again, right click, copy the clipboard, and this is copying over the, the name of the weapon. So it's important that you create some quotes, and then you want to put in to these quotes the one you just copied over. Now this is how you add a single weapon. If you wanted to add multiple weapons, you want to add a comma, and then again quotation marks. Let's find another weapon here. Let's do a, um, a, let's do a nuke. Again, right click, copy the clipboard, go back and then enter that in and you just keep doing that until you add all the weapons that you want to this job all right and the command is also pretty self-explanatory this is the command that um, that it, users can type into the chat uh, in order to become this job um, the maximum is basically how many people can be this job at once um, the, the, putting in a zero means that there are unlimited slots open. Since this is an admin job, um, they're going to be limited anyway. But if you made this like a black market dealer, perhaps, um, you might only want two of these. So uh, again, the salary is also self-explanatory. How much money do they make every payday? The admin here, if you were making a, a job for everyone to use, you would want to make this zero uh, as it is right here. But since this is for admins only, I want this to be a one. Vote, false, no, I don't want to create a vote when becoming this job. Do, do they have a weapons license? Yes, this is an admin, should always have a weapon license. Uh, can demote, uh, admins can uh, demote by default, so putting in something here is, um, is unnecessary, but if you uh, create a new um, 
like a SWAT sniper, perhaps, you would want to put this true so they can demote people. And the category is uh, what we created a second ago. Sorry, sorry. Uh, there we go. So uh, the name admin. Let's put that. In. Let's uh, save both files. Upload them. There you go. Oh right, uh, I just uh, forgot uh, to create the donator job. So let's do that now. On a separate line, we want to create a new job. Let's call this um, donator. You can name these accordingly, of course. Uh, these are not locked down to what I put in here. Uh, the donator should be um, be blue, uh, a little bit blue, I think. Um, and let's again go find a model. Go to spawn list, find out what model they should have. I like the Iron Man model. Again, right click, copy clipboard, go back, put in the model. Actually, maybe, um, yeah, it's a good idea to show this now. Um, if you want um, a job to have uh, the model selector, where you can like select between multiple models, you want to put this into a um, a table format, basically. And you do that by creating these little uh, brackets. And always remember to put the comma here. If you do not have the comma here, uh, it will uh, error out, basically. So um, now you just specify multiple models. So let's, uh, in quotation, of course, specify another model. Um, let's try, okay, that one was apparently broken. Um, let's do Harry Potter, yeah, Harry Potter. Uh, right click, copy the clipboard, and then enter in the Harry Potter model. Now, when it's the last one, it's not required to put in a uh, comma. You can do that if you want. Um, it's not necessary, but that's basically how you specify multiple models. Um, again, let's just uh, donators only. Uh, weapons, I don't want the donators to uh, spawn with uh, any weapons, so um, I'm going to leave that out. The command, donator. Max unlimited, I don't want to put a limit on that. Put the salary to 250. Admin zero. That's uh, every donator is not admin. Uh, sorry, uh, donators are not admin. So if you want them to actually uh, have access to this job, you want to leave this at zero. Vote false. Uh, has license false. Uh, that's fine. And the category should now be donator. So I'm gonna put that. In. I'm gonna save. Upload it. And. Uh, I'm going to restart, so I'll be right back. And we're back, and we are now going to test if to see uh, if our changes uh, have been applied. And as you can see, I now have a admin on duty. Um, I also have a donor job right here. So the admin on duty, uh, of course, spawns with um, the nuke, and it also spawns with the rocket launcher we gave it. Uh, and the donator job here, you can see we have a model choice whether or not to become Iron Man or Harry Potter. I'm going to become Harry Potter. And I'm just going to show you that it worked by creating one of these commas here. And as you can see, I'm now Harry Potter. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, that is uh, basically how you create a, um, a, um, a new job, a custom job, and a category for a dark RP. So uh, yeah, uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to create a comment and I will uh, sort them out as quickly as I can. Um, I think that was pretty much it. Um, also, if a um, if a user that is not a, uh, a donator tries to become a donator uh, job here, they will get the message that we specified Oh, actually, all right, so um, I just saw that we actually forgot to add this custom check in here. <laughs> I apologize. Um, so this right here is the important part of adding a uh, donator job. You said you create this custom check that you can find in the description. Uh, 
just add this in to the bottom of your job and that will uh, make the job donate only and if a um, user that is not a donator tries to become this job using the command uh, up here they will get this message basically that's how it works so uh, yeah thanks for watching